Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to download, verify, uh, and install uh, the GPG for Windows software. Uh, so let's dive in. So in some of my previous videos, I went through this. Uh, they were a bit long and involved, so I just want to give you a quick and dirty uh, tutorial on how to do this, and then I want to touch on this whole idea of how do we verify this software because this is our verification software so uh, how do we verify the verification software if we don't have it on our computer to run the verification uh, so that can be kind of a quandary so there is an alternate way to do this and uh, so let's go over here to the website let's go to the big screen and here we go okay so the GNU PG privacy guard is the software that we use to verify uh, our downloads. Uh, sometimes, I mean, in, uh, a lot of the software that we're using has been, uh, there's included uh, signing files that we use for our verification. We download the uh, signature file of the developers. Uh, we've been through all this. Uh, but how do we do all this if we don't have a version of the software on here already? So uh, we're going to need the GPG for Windows. Uh, they have a link to it down here. Oops. And GPG, if you go to Software, Download, uh, as you can see, there's a link to GPG for Windows. Now, this is the Windows version of it. OK. Now, if we don't have uh, a version or a previous version of GPG for Windows, how in the world are we going to verify the software cryptographically using the software? OK. So we're going to have to use an alternate method. We're going to use a SHA method over here. So we're going to click download. Uh, I'm not going to donate today for the simplicity sake. All right, I'm going to use my software folder over here. I'm going to create a new folder. We'll call it GPG for win. Okay, we're going to hit enter. All right, double click that guy. Uh, hit save. There it is. Okay, that's the new version. Uh, so, how am I going to verify this? Uh, there's no, uh, they do have the signing files. All right, and uh, but we're not going to go through all that. But I have, they do have a checksum here. Let's go back here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they put it down here. All right, so this is the one that I'm going to use. Uh, this is a SHA-256, pretty secure, and it's quite long. So uh, we're going to use our SHA sum checker. And I must have somehow, I have the software, and I'll include a link for you in the description. SHA sum checker is freeware, and you can use it to verify uh, files that you've downloaded by checking the SHA. It's a cryptographic hash. So uh, we want to browse to the file that we just downloaded. So we'll go over here to software um, and down to our GPG for Windows which we just downloaded and there's the file. So we open this file and you'll see it just churned away and uh, generated these uh, SHA uh, hashes. And we could eyeball it wanted to and it's not the same it's, oh here it is <laughs> sorry uh, yeah we can see here 256 beginning 256 but why eyeball the whole thing when you can just uh, cut and paste so we're going to take this whole thing we're going to copy it we're going to paste it down here and click verify lo and behold the SHA-256 matched okay so that's our verification and it works pretty good, but uh, some caveats with that. It's not as secure as doing the full verification that I've talked about in my other videos once we have this software up and running. But like I said, if you don't have the software up and running from a previous version, there's no way you can run the full verification. So we have to settle for this less secure verification. Now, this SHA is right here on their website, right next to the file. So these might be bad guys that are trying to trick us into downloading their faux version of GPG for Windows. So what we want to do is we want to get independent verification 
of this SHA-256. And uh, there's a couple of ways to do this. I think uh, I want to show you. They have a, they even have a link. Here, I'm just going to go to their web page here. Yeah. Check integrity. Oh, okay. So when we go to the check integrity, uh, they, they link us back to a GNUPG where they talk about checking the integrity of downloaded files uh, using their software, a previous version of their software. Now here, this is the big one. You should never use a GNUPG version you just downloaded to check the integrity of the source. Okay. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, you could uh, install the software and then uh, run the uh, integrity check on the download uh, installer that you the downloaded installer that you put on the on your hard drive yeah you could do it that way it's kind of uh, after the fact verification but they're warning you not to do that because uh, I guess bad guys could have figured that one out too so if you go down here uh, you've got this if you are not able to use an old version of the GNUPG you can still do the Shasam uh, check, which is less secure, uh, but uh, we want to make sure that we have independent verification. So we have all these checksums on their website, uh, but we should get independent verification. And the way that we do that is we go to their community and we subscribe to their announcements. Okay, and then we, when we subscribe, uh, I'll just go ahead and block that. I don't know why it's trying to get in here. Uh, okay, so it's not going to let me do that unless I, whatever. Ah, <sighs> oh, pooies. Okay, something went weird. Anyway, uh, I guess allow that to allow that through when you use it next time. You want to get subscribed to their list. There's other links that'll get you subscribed. But these are the archives, and uh, we'll look at the, the latest thread since uh, this is the announcement uh, archive. Uh, the announcements are where they announce new versions and give you uh, the checksums. And as you can see, I can uh, pull up this email. Now, this email would have ended up in my box uh, had I been a subscriber, and then uh, these links uh, would take me to these checksums that I need. So uh, I know that's a little convoluted, but that is a uh, more secure way to get a hold of the SHA sum hash that you need to do your verification. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, once you get that thing uh, downloaded, you can run the installer and uh, it's pretty straightforward. And then you'll have the software on your computer and I'll take you through the installation in uh, another video. So once again, uh, thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, give me a like. Uh, if you want to get alerted whenever I post new videos, please subscribe. And once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.